Yo, what's happening everyone? It's your boy here, Abdurrahim, back again with another great, amazing graphics design tutorial. And the tutorial of today, it's actually all about the product manipulation. Now, if you never heard about product manipulation, well, actually, whenever like a factory or a manufacturer has to make a certain product, they usually try to hinder into different perspective for the consumer who they just want to consume a certain product. Now, Pay just close attention on this because it's kind of like it's really really the whole thing like the whole process we're gonna just do this break it down into each kind of step so as you can just groove and understand what's happening now for further ado ladies and gentlemen you know what i'm saying let us just get started okay ladies and gentlemen right now we're actually inside um photoshop and as you can see on our layout this is how we're gonna work on our layout now i'm gonna just place in some bottle here since i just uh hide it here somewhere here let me just uh toss in so we have our bottle i'm gonna just toss in my bottle as you can see nice and smooth now the thing is um, there's a uh, like a line somewhere but we'll see whenever you just toss in a background now for right now I want you guys to slice this bottle but make sure that you are rasterized on your layer very important now just slice this bottle just somewhere here just like that just slice it slice it I want you guys just to slice you know what I'm saying slice this part then secondly I'm gonna return again to my image I should I supposed to duplicate that but don't worry about that there's no any problem now on this side as you can see if I just reduce opacity you're gonna see that slicing there now for this part we're gonna just um, it doesn't matter but it's just supposed to be somewhere there it's supposed to not be a hundred percent perfect so on this side control plus enter then delete that then control plus D now you can see right now if I select we have this part which is something which is so important now on this kind of part I'm gonna just uh, keep it aside yet I don't want to work with it right now now let us just go back again and bring this kind of um, my kind of folder so this folder you'll find it on the on the description below you can download all the exercise files which I'm using now on this splash I'm gonna just toss in the splash now I'm gonna just try to reduce the splash because I want the splash to be everywhere like to be up to this side of the width so just make it bigger a bit just up to somewhere here which is perfect you can see the colors are not blending in a hundred percent now um, we're gonna just reduce the size a little bit and bring it just somewhere here now as you can see that's how it looks like right now now zoom in up to here so as we can just blend in everything to be the same now I'm gonna right click it and say you know what give me some rasterization you know what I'm saying man rasterization that's what's up so right now we're gonna just um, remove the actually remove this kind of juice splash I just try to blending it in, in very slightly now I recommend you guys sometimes you're using a mouse but for a perfect thing you can grab um, a drawing pad very important if you if you save that kind of money that kind of dough and grab a drawing pad it's really really important now on this side of the juice control plus L now try to to blending it in as you can see is try to blending in now after that you can see the juice splash look the same as the juice of the sun magic now I want you guys to zoom in again you can see there's a slight change here I'm gonna grab a color closest to any color but don't be on the white section but something closest to now I want you guys to fix that just like just like that a slice fix not too much but remember to keep up with the detail so just something slightly don't be too much don't go too much then after that I'm gonna grab again something from here and try just something from somewhere here just a bit just a bit not too much now after that as you can see guys but still I think I just have to go all the way up to here so as it can make a lot of sense okay 
that's good that's good that's perfect Ooh. now i'm gonna just blend it in blending in or merge everything together not blending in but merging everything now, as you can see we're having only one single uh layer right now for the juice splash but this is a juice bottle i prefer writing my layers the name so as it does not confuse me you know what i'm saying so on this side i'm gonna just um adjust the bottle size and bring it somewhere there now I'm gonna just uh, bring the splash again then the splash will be somewhere here as you can see guys my splash will be somewhere here because of this kind of bottle cape the one we sliced it then duplicate that rotate it a bit and bring it just somewhere here why am i doing that because if i, I keep it the same you can see this one ended here so i need it to be 100 percent great when it comes to that so on this side i'm gonna right click it and say you know what rasterize extend this kind of brush part then just slice it off just somewhere here which is quite amazing and i'm gonna just um merge everything with this one so as they can be only one single thing so i can readjust it a bit up to somewhere there so as you can see in this one it's supposed to be there so it's supposed to not be that much too much but at least somewhere there now i'm gonna just bring it somewhere here and right click it just link layers which is something which is so perfect now if you pay close attention you look at it you can see what's happening very nice composition and yeah <clears throat> i'm gonna just uh, bring it at the center i guess if it stays at the center it's more much perfect i guess so we keep it somewhere there now there's a small cycle here this it's going we're gonna use it as our color code i decided just to keep it there because of the color code we're gonna use and what's next actually we're gonna to toss in our background right now then i'm gonna just bring my background and you get everything on this exercise file don't worry about that so as we can just go all the way together now i want you guys to lock this just lock it in case we just don't want to make things go a little bit quite different now i want you to bring this a little bit somewhere here because it looks like it has been sliced you know what i'm saying so um i'm gonna bring another shape this grass and bring it just somewhere here down a little bit it's got a little bit a little bit just somewhere here down so somewhere up to somewhere here a little bit just a little bit not too much but just maintain that center then bring it down bring it down up to here now as you can see ladies and gentlemen how are they out you remember i told you that time that there's a something like a white background on this bottle so just remove that you can erase it then it's gone now right now what's gonna happen is just that i'm gonna grab a shape shape like this one which is something which is so awesome then on this shape i'm gonna bring it on top and i'm gonna send it at the back up to somewhere here then i'm gonna click it here and i'm gonna apply my color code and okay and okay you can see then we're gonna change to uh, multiply which is good then reduce opacity a bit then there's this ellipse you can unhide it so as you can see our layout you can see how much the composition looks like man it looks so amazing now on this side last but not least we're gonna grab in our grass which is something which is so important grab your grass to sit on the layout bring it just somewhere here bring it somewhere here down then rotate it and bring it some here bring it forward a bit so as it can be seen and outside that kind of bottle and splash it would be so important so bring it somewhere here down rotate it a bit bring it here just somewhere here slowly not too much but Control plus L for levels so as you can adjust the leveling so as it can just blend in the same zoom in a bit zoom in a bit then bring it just somewhere here and eraser a bit right click it rasterize it and small eraser we don't need bigger one so just uh, try just the thing yeah just try to remove this part then try to just readjust things here a bit not too much but somewhere there then as you can see guys that's how it looks like i'm gonna bring another one somewhere here Control plus t rotate it bring it somewhere here then hold Control to readjust like a transform and control as you can see then somewhere there and erase again just remove this part remove this part and make sure that you just 
can go in up to here, control plus T, readjust it, bring it here somewhat closely. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's the time whereby we're saying it's awesome. As you can see, guys, this is how you create that kind of amazing uh, product manipulation. I hope you enjoyed on this kind of tutorial. That's how you do it. And it's something which is so amazing. Long story short, I shot the whole video yesterday and man, I challenged myself and I make that video for almost 20 minutes. And I thought that, okay, it's okay. And I lost all the files. And I came up in the morning I was like okay let me just get started editing this video and later on all the files are gone so it's a nice thing to just redo it again because you just get on the flow and you understand each kind of aspect what's going on so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed on this kind of amazing product manipulation this is something which is so kind of epic and I, I, I'm, I'll be trying to roll out kind of different tutorials on this one and as quickly as possible let me know in the comments down below what you're thinking and last but not least ladies and gentlemen you know what i'm saying if you're new here con subscribe on that kind of button and i'm gonna catch your smiley faces on the next one as always stay sharp and creative and peace kudos